Lanka, Rubico, Snipe Drone Vandal, Volcar Wraith and so on and so forth. When it comes to Warframe, there's no shortage of awesome sniper rifles to choose from. However, my favorite all-round sniper still remains the Vectis Prime. Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be doing a build for this beauty. I'm also gonna be assuming that you already know the basics, considering the Vectis Prime is a mastery rank 14 weapon. So, without further ado, let's jump into the Vectis Prime. First let's check out how the weapon handles without any mods equipped. Perhaps one of the most important things when it comes to sniper rifles is what are the graphics on the scope and how much can it zoom. As you can see the Vectis Prime has two zoom levels, one of 3.5x and one of 6.0x, which will grant you plus 40% headshot damage and plus 60% headshot damage. Now let's check out the rate of fire. If you're trying to hit something close, like let's say this pillar over here, right that point that I made a hole in it, you will see that the reload time kinda impairs you a little bit from getting the most DPS you can off, again if the target is close. Because if we rapid fire you see we have a bit of a delay there. And the recoil on the Victus Prime is actually quite good, it restabilizes itself without any mods quite nicely. However, if we're talking about a target that is further away, because again this is a sniper, you will see that you will have to wait a little bit till everything kinda gets resettled. Unless you're Mr. OP and you have no problem with the recoil and you can rapid fire. But if I go for full rapid fire like this, I lose all precision when it comes to long range shots. And that being said, let's jump into the build and see what are the stats of the, of the Vectus Prime. Accuracy 13.3, which is definitely great. This is standard for sniper rifles mostly, a critical chance of 30%, which is high. This will make the Vectis mostly a crit weapon, but it also has a status chance of 30%. That means we're gonna be able to double dip, which kind of is what this makes this weapon so amazing to me. Critical multiplier, unfortunately, is not all that high. It's only 2.0x, and the falloff is standard for snipers. Fire rate 2.67, magazine of 2. Actually, many argue that a magazine of 1 would be a whole lot better because of the mods we can equip, but we're gonna talk about that later. Of course, it is alarming because it's a sniper rifle. It's not exactly quiet, though we could use a silent sniper rifle. Punch through is 1 meter, so it's not that big of a punch through. You're just gonna be able to hit one target behind your initial target. And the reload is 0 0.9, and as you saw there in practice, this proves quite efficient. Riven Disposition is 3 out of 5, which is surprising, I was expecting for the Vectus Prime, or the Vectus in general, better said, to be a whole lot lower. Status Chance 30%, which is awesome, Trigger is semi, and the standard damage, or the default damage, is Impact, Puncture, and Slash, with the highest amount being Puncture and Impact being close behind. Unfortunately, Slash is not all that high, but I prefer sniper rifles that can get the job done in one single shot. 60 mod capacity, you know how you get this one with an Orokin Catalyst. Now. Let's slap on some mods. As per the usual, the first thing we're gonna do is add flat damage with serration. After we add damage, let's see what are the options we have. We have Heavy Caliber. Now, Heavy Caliber is a very popular mod, it's a mod that I love to use on certain assault rifles, but for what is supposed to be a pinpoint precision sniper, I just don't like that idea at all, so I'm gonna recommend you stay away from Heavy Caliber. Next, let's add a little bit of multi-shot. As per the usual, multi-shot is extremely important on mostly any weapon. Split Chamber is the multi-shot mod we're gonna equip. And for now, at least, we're gonna stay away for, from Vigilante Armaments. This is a very powerful mod that is part of one of my builds, but I'm gonna recommend you two today. Very well, we got our damage, we got our multi-shot, why don't we further amplify that crit? Please take into account that our status chance of course jumped as well because of split chamber. More uh, multi-shot means more projectiles, means more status chance. So let's amplify that crit. The standard rifle crit mod is point strike which will give us plus 150% critical chance and since we now have a critical chance of 75%, why don't we further amplify that with a little bit of critical damage with vital sense. Now Vital Sense adds 120% critical damage and it's gonna boost our uh, DPS quite significantly. Right, what should we do next is, to be honest, depending on what you want to do. Do you want to go and fight the Grenier, heavily armored targets? Are you up against the Corpus? Are you going to Eidolon? Because one of the main uses for snipers right now in the game is going to hunt Eidolon. Against Grenier, you're gonna need corrosive damage. Against Eidolon, you're gonna need radiation damage. Against Corpus, you can go for a bit of a mix. You can go for gas if you wanna bypass their shields and deal damage to their health directly. Or if you just wanna damage down their shields, then 
um, you're gonna want to build magnetic. But in any case, for now, let's assume we're fighting the Grenier. So we're gonna need electricity and new and uh, toxic toxin as per the usual. When it comes to adding elemental damage to a sniper or to a weapon in general, you have two options. You have the flat 90 mods or you have the 60-60 mods. Now, I don't really like to recommend uh, expensive mods to my builds, but for now, we're gonna go with Stormbringer. This will add more damage than high voltage, however, it does come at a cost of that 60% status chance. My idea for snipers in general, like I mentioned earlier, is I want them to get the job done in one single hit, or as few hits as possible. I don't wanna re-hit my target. The sniper should take out a target in one hit. In any case, we're gonna go with Stormbringer, and next we are going to be adding some toxin with Infected Clip. And you see our corrosive jumped up to 3.1 because of the combination. It's now higher than the uh, default physical damage it deals, than the slash puncture and impact. And now that we have our elemental combo, what follows next is a bit of a split off into two directions. Because there are two good ways of building it forward. You can go for a very, very popular combo within the community, which is Charged Chamber. Let's put on Charge Chamber. Now, this will give us plus 40% bonus damage on the first shot in the clip. Now, it's important to understand how Charge Chamber works. It doesn't just add a 40% damage like Serration would. No, this will be added on top of everything. So, think of it like the bullet leaves the chamber and it gets another 40% on all of those. So, think of Charge Chamber like being on top of all of these. This is like the best way to think about it. Now it adds 40% damage on the first shot in the clip and we have two in the clip which is why some uh, sustain that the normal Vectus is better because it only has one magazine capacity so you're gonna get that 40% extra on each and every shot but we can fix that on the Prime with depleted reload. Let's put on depleted reload. Now you will see that this gives us a whole lot of reload speed and reduces our magazine capacity by 60% which will reduce our reload time to 0.6 so we can try a little bit of rapid fire action which does work on targets which are close to us not necessarily on targets which are far away. And our magazine capacity is now 1 which means that we're gonna always get the benefit of charge chamber. Now this is a way you can build a Vectus Prime. This is a very popular build and it's guaranteed to give you good results. So let's try it out. See how it works, and then we're gonna switch up the build a little bit, and I'm gonna show you what I prefer to run instead of this. Let's clear up these guys, and we're gonna spawn 8 Corrupted Heavy Gunner, level 115. Now, these Corrupted Heavy Gunner, I prefer them than the normal ones because they have more health and armor. We got 63 meters to the target, and I'm actually, for the first test, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna have a little bit of punch through, and it's gonna hit both targets, and this is what it can do. Keep in mind, please, that sniper rifles have that combo system, which is somewhat, not completely, somewhat similar to the uh, melee combo system. So the more we fire, the more we build up our combo, the more damage we will do. And in order for you to start the combo multiplier on the Vectis, you're gonna need 5 shots and the combo decay is 2 seconds. So wait 2 seconds, uh, combo will go away and so on and so forth. It drops one by one, so you do have plenty of time to keep your combo up. So this is what you call a cold start with Charge Chamber. And we wait stri strictly for headshots. Now what I'm gonna do before my combo drops to hell, I'm gonna respawn these guys. And then we're gonna go from a uh, to a flat out headshot from the front. Our combo is still going as you can see. Now because I am closer to my targets now, I can try for a bit of rapid fire on the targets. I can make use of that reload time and I can make use of that um, awesome uh, short recoil of it. Reload time and of course fire rate. Alright, so that's what it can do against, what was that, 16 targets with the very popular combination of charge chamber and depleted reload. Not bad, definitely not bad. However, I prefer to go about it a bit differently. We're gonna remove charge, aim, charge Chamber and Depleted Reload. We're gonna add Vigilante Armaments. Now Vigilante Armaments adds plus 60% multi-shot and it also has that 5% chance to enhance uh, critical hits from primary weapons. But to be frank, we don't fire that many shells, definitely not with the Vectis, so the set bonus kinda loses most of its value. As for the last mod, what we're gonna be doing and what I recommend you do is further amplify your elemental damage depending on who you fight. In our case, it's the Grenier, so we're gonna need either Toxin or Electricity to further amplify it. 
Let's go with Toxin, because this is cheaper than the electricity one and more easier to obtain. Malignant 4, 60% Toxin, 60% status chance. Now our status chance jumped to 80%, which is quite a lot, and our corrosive damage jumped to 5.5k. And this is the combo I prefer to use. It deals more burst damage. And once again, this will be a cold start for the Vectis, so we make the test as accurate as we can. And we're just gonna go like per the usual for straight up headshots, and I'm gonna try to use for the first test that innate punch fruit that the weapon has in order to hit both targets as best I can. Okay, let's try these guys now. As you can see, with this combination, we got a little bit more of burst damage. It's hard to compare the two from my point of view, but it should mean that the charge chamber combo is more sustained damage, while the combo with Vigilante Armaments and a 60-60 mod should theoretically at least mean that you have more burst. And I like the idea of more burst. I simply think that a sniper should kill things outright. Now let's go for a bit more rapid fire. In my opinion, these, uh, this uh, mod combination offers slightly better results. As you can see, the more the combo climbs, I'm just one-shotting these targets a whole lot more easier than with Charge Chamber and Depleted Reload. I just hate sacrificing a mod slot just to get the ammo cap down. And this is These are the two builds that I recommend uh, for you guys. It's gonna come down to your personal preference, which you prefer. I honestly am running Vigilante Armaments with a 60-60 mod. I don't like the idea, again, of sacrificing that mod slot. And I don't think that the damage it offers is, n is really all that it's supposed to be. But in any case, we also have a Riven today to test out some more endgame potential and we're gonna switch to my main build. As you can see, uh, on my main build I do have Argon Scope. This is a tremendous mod for a sniper. I don't really like to recommend mods like this because, well, they're extremely expensive. Currently Argon Scope you can get it for about 250 plat. So if you can get your hands on one for a sniper and for rifles, this is one amazing mod. So we're gonna be using Argon Scope and we also equip the Riven. Now my Riven over here has Heat and Multi Shot with minus fire rate. Now the thing is, Heat is absolutely great and this would be an awesome Riven to run against Eidolon, which is what I was interested in and Multi Shot is always good. The rest of the build is the same, as you can see we swapped in Argon Scope instead of the 6060 mod and we also swapped in uh, the uh, Riven instead of Vigilante Armaments. Now there's one more thing I would like to make note of, there is an Arcane which really helps us out a lot and the Arcane is called, where are you? Arcane Momentum. Now this one on critical hit will give us a 40% chance for plus 100 reload speed to sniper rifles for 8 seconds and of course the usual plus 1 arcane revive. Now this one is more useful on other sniper rifles but it still has its uses on the Vectus Prime. You can farm this one from the first Eidolon down on Cetus, the Terrorist, or if you want to spare yourself the hassle, the R3 for this one goes for as low as 35 plat, so there's no excuse in not getting it. So we're gonna equip Arcane Momentum, we're gonna do a lot of crits, we got the Riven now, and let's run the exact same test as before. First, the long range test, we're gonna try to kill these guys as fast as possible. I'm going for headshots, I'm not mashing my button, I am usually the player that prefers precision instead of like flat out fire rate when it comes to sniper rifles at the very least. And of course with the combo counter going up our damage is going to be skyrocketing as well. There we go, we got those guys down. Let's respawn them in and go for close up. We're gonna make use of that better reload speed with a bit of fire rate now. Move damn you, I can't see through you. There we go, you're dead, you're dead. And as you can see, as per the usual, Rivens make quite the difference, even though it's a Riven disposition of free. Now, I don't like to recommend Rivens. Rivens right now for the Vectus Prime are going for... I think if you're really lucky and you haggle, you can get one for 350 plat and then you can just farm Kuva and reroll it. It does make a difference. It is very important when it comes to Eidolon to kill them fast so they don't go into their all sorts of weird phases, but by all means you don't need a Riven to be effective and you don't need a Riven to have fun. 
And speaking of fun, why don't we have a little bit of fun? I think we earned it, so let's try to pork out as much damage as possible out of our sniper. First of all, we're gonna need an aura. As you know, most weapons have an aura that will amplify their damage. And the one for sniper rifles is called Deadeye, and that's 52.5% extra damage when it comes to sniper rifles, and you guys should have this one when you're going to Eidolon. Mostly, if, if everybody has this, it's gonna be a guaranteed one-shot, even if you don't have the OP Lanka and all whatnot. As for the damage mod to primary is called Arcane Rage, was it this one? Yes, this one. Now this one, I know it says on it that uh, it will increase the damage to rifles, but it's to primaries actually, so you're gonna be able to increase the damage of any primary. I'm still in the process of getting the R3 because, well, they're freaking expensive as all hell. So we're gonna do that, we're also gonna equip Deadeye, and furthermore, we're gonna use the buffs of our Warframe, we're gonna activate our free ability and our one ability with Mirage, and we're gonna summon in the same set. Now that should prove a whole lot more damage and I know, oh yeah, that's beautiful. I like doing this, don't you guys? Because let's be honest, you will be getting some buffs, right? When you're doing idle on, when you're running your missions and all whatnot, so this should be taken into account as well and I absolutely love running it like this. It just wrecks everything. Look at that, that was two guys, one shot. You gotta love that. So as you can see, the Vectus Prime can be one outstanding weapon and don't ask me which is the best sniper because in all honesty there's not enough content to handle this much damage. At least for the moment it's not. I simply love the Vectus Prime and this is my go-to sniper for pretty much everything. Now it's simply gonna come down to you and what you prefer, your personal preferences and your playstyle. Not having an endgame, not a real one, does offer the benefit that we are flexible on what we play. If we had an endgame, everybody would be running the same weapons, the same warframes and the same builds. So there is an upside to not having an actual endgame. And well, that's pretty much it to the build. You have a couple of options, whether you prefer to go with charge chamber or not, it's all up to you. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching, like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you got any feedback for me, by all means, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you wanna request certain videos, by all means, you have my word, I will read each and every comment. Bye bye everybody, bye bye.